An investigation by The Punch has revealed that no fewer than 4,364 fatalities occurred among the 139,730 Nigerians suspected to have contacted cholera nationwide over the past four years. This incidence rate was determined through an analysis of weekly cholera situation reports released by the Nigerian Center for Disease Control, NCDC, from 2021 to 2024. Recently, the NCDC issued an alert regarding the escalating trend of cholera cases across Nigeria, coinciding with the intensification of the rainy season. According to a statement signed by Dr. Jide Idris, the Tour Director General of the NCDC, on Thursday, June 13, 2024, the agency reported a total of 1,141 suspected cases, 65 confirmed cases, and 30 deaths attributed to cholera between January 1 and June 11, 2024. These cases were reported from 96 local government areas spanning 30 states of the Federation. The NCDC identified Bayelsa, Zamfara, Abia, Cross River, Bauchi, Delta, Castina, Imo, Nasarawa and Lagos as the top 10 states contributing 90% of the cholera burden. During the same period, the Lagos State Ministry of Health recorded 350 suspected cholera cases across 29 wards in multiple local government areas, with 17 cases confirmed and 15 fatalities linked to severe dehydration resulting from delayed medical intervention. Now, as cholera cases continue to rise and communities mobilize their responses, Understanding the intricate details of cholera transmission, symptoms, and implementing effective preventive measures becomes imperative in managing these escalating public health crises. Here is an in-depth exploration of everything you need to know about cholera. What is cholera? Cholera is a disease caused by eating food and drinking water contaminated with the bacterium Vibrio cholerae. When was cholera's first outbreak in Nigeria? According to reports, since the first outbreak of epidemic cholera in Nigeria in 1972, the country has experienced cholera outbreaks on an annual basis, especially during the rainy season when the disease tends to spread more easily due to poor drainage systems, hygiene practices and limited access to clean tap water. Punch reports that no fewer than 4,364 people have died out of the 139,730 Nigerians suspected to have been infected with the disease across the country in the last four years. Who is at risk? According to Nigerian Center for Disease Control, people of all ages living in places with limited access to clean water, people living in areas with poor sanitation and poor hygiene, People living in slum areas where basic water or sanitation infrastructure is missing. People living in rural areas who depend on surface water or unsafe piped or borehole well water sources for drinking. People who consume potentially contaminated food or fruits without washing and cooking properly. People who do not perform hand hygiene at appropriate times. Man-made or natural disasters like flood resulted in population movements and overcrowded refugee camps. Relatives who care for sick people with cholera at home. Healthcare workers including doctors, nurses and other health workers who provide direct patient care in the absence of standard precautions. What are the symptoms of cholera? According to the Mayo Clinic, most people exposed to the cholera bacterium don't become ill or know they have been infected. However, because they shed cholera bacteria in their stool for 7 to 14 days, they can still infect others through contaminated water. Some symptoms include diarrhea, nausea and vomiting, and dehydration. Other signs are irritability, fatigue, sunken eyes, a dry mouth, extreme thirst, dry and shriveled skin that's slow to bounce back when pinched into a fold, little or no urinating, low blood pressure and irregular heartbeat. Cholera-related diarrhea comes on suddenly and can quickly cause dangerous free loss of as much as about 1 litre an hour. Due to cholera, diarrhea often has a pale milky appearance that resembles water in which rice has been rinsed. 
How can cholera be spread? A bacterium called Vibrio cholerae causes cholera infection. The deadly effects of the disease result from a toxin the bacteria produce in small intestine. That toxin causes the body to secrete enormous amounts of water, leading to diarrhea and a rapid loss of fluids and salts. Cholera bacteria might not cause illness in all exposed people, but they still pass the bacteria in their stool, which can contaminate food and water supplies. Contaminated water supplies are the main source of cholera infection. The bacterium can be found on surfaces, raw water, seafood, raw foods and vegetables and grains. Can eat be treated? The disease is easily treatable if detected early. Most infected people can be treated successfully through prompt administration of oral rehydration solution ORS to replace lost fluids and electrolytes and appropriate antibiotics. The ORS solution is a powder that can be reconstituted in boiled or bottled water. Cholera can be deadly when infected people do not assess care immediately. Adhere cholera vaccines. According to the World Health Organization, there are three pre-qualified oral cholera vaccines, Ducora, Chantol, Uvichol Plus. All three vaccines require two doses for full protection. What are some of the preventive measures? Preventing cholera primarily involves ensuring access to safe drinking water, promoting good hygiene practices and implementing effective sanitation measures. And by implementing these comprehensive preventive measures, communities and public health authorities can significantly reduce the incidence and impact of cholera outbreaks. Cholera outbreaks can be devastating, but with proactive measures and community cooperation, the spread of the disease can be controlled by ensuring access to safe water, promoting good hygiene practices, and taking prompt action in case of symptoms. Individuals and communities can stay safe amidst the threat of cholera. Stay vigilant, stay informed, and prioritize your health and safety during these challenging times.